This video will highlight the Tecla TED 2D frame analysis and design calculation to the Euro code. The calculation allows you to define a 2D analysis model and then undertake the member design checks. Before running any calculation within the library, always read the associated notes which cover the scope, important assumptions and limitations and references. Examples are provided within the library. These can also be used as a starting point for your own designs. You can use the truss or frame wizards to help generate the required analysis model or you can use the 2D frame option to manually define your model. The member analysis option is covered in a separate example and allows you to define a single or continuous member before continuing to design. This example will use the truss wizard. Different truss shapes are available. For the chosen shape, alternative types can be selected. We will generate a parallel chord, Pratt truss. A live sketch is displayed in the main area of the page which is updated to reflect any changes made to the geometry. The material can be glue lamb or timber. You define the strength class to consider. Section sizes for the top chord. Bottom chord. And internals can be specified. A sketch and calculated section properties are displayed. After confirming the wizard, the underlying analysis model is then displayed where you can review and edit the nodes, materials, sections, elements and design members. Design members have been automatically created for the horizontal members. An internal design member will be added, so that you can design the internal member later. The load page allows you to define the load cases and the nodal, element or member loads for each load case. You can add as many load cases and loads as you wish. The combination page allows you to create combinations for design. This can be done manually or by using the generate button and selecting from a list. Having defined the analysis model you can now review the analysis input and results diagram. The display options can be used to review different results. Additional information is available where you see an information symbol. We will consider the design of inclined members. You can specify any deflection criteria that needs to be considered as a span over limit or a maximum value. The design of each design member can now be undertaken. We will begin with the top chord. You can review the geometry, loading, combinations and deflection criteria specified earlier. Design options set the national annex, modification factors, lateral restraint and end bearing details to be considered for the chosen design section. Additional information is available where you see an information symbol. If you turn on preview results, then the preview results for the selected design span are shown with a utilization ratio and a pass or fail. If anything fails, these can be previewed and amendments made to the input. You can continue to design as many design spans as you require. We will now design the internal. Set the design options as appropriate for the chosen design span. Once again, you can preview the results. If anything fails, amendments can be made to the input. After the preview results display is satisfactory we can move on to creating the calculation output. You can exclude all design checks for the selected member, or you can use the preview output button to review the output for the selected design span. You can specify the level of detail. For individual checks you can add notes or exclude specific checks. You can review the output. Output results for both analysis and design can be further controlled using the output options page. You can also include a summary table. Once you are satisfied with the input and preview results, you can click finish and our design and the calculation output is written to the document. 
The calculation title along with the level of analysis results and design checks specified are all laid out in a clear and concise format. Thank you.